This is one of the biggest corporate coups for Boston since GE announced six years ago that it was moving its headquarters here, also from Connecticut. Like kids with a new toy, Boston city officials were as surprised as they were thrilled about Lego's announcement. Not only as a Boston resident, but a connoisseur of Legos, uh, I'm very happy that they're coming to Boston. Boston's chief of economic opportunity says the city offered the Danish toy maker no tax breaks or other financial incentives. In a statement, Lego CEO said, quote, Boston is ranked one of the best cities in the world to attract and retain talent. Our understanding is that there will be no jobs lost uh, in the move uh, to Boston. Um, but that there are also opportunities uh, for Boston residents to secure careers. About 740 people work at LEGO's current headquarters in Enfield, Connecticut. Boston officials say the jobs pay an average of $125,000 a year. Current employees will be allowed to transfer to Boston, including to LEGO's already existing offices on Boylston Street. What's that going to do to the cost of housing in the city? Well, that's a real challenge, and I'm not sure that that is something that will make things better. Governor Healy, while touring a food manufacturing facility in Dorchester that is planning its own relocation to Canton, says affordable housing will be one of her top priorities. We're going to be doing everything we can over the next weeks and months uh, to set in place motion and support for increased housing around the state. And with increased housing, we'll see lower costs. Now, Lego would only say that it wants to locate to central Boston. City officials here at City Hall say they will spend the next several months trying to help Lego determine exactly where that is. Live at Boston City Hall, David Beenick, WCVB News Center 5. David, thank you.